Hi, it's Nick Walsh. Welcome to the course. This is a beginner's WordPress web design course. At the end of the course, you will be able to do WordPress gigs such as install a theme, create a contact form, integrate your site to MailChimp email service so you can send customers emails, and you'll be able to do many other gigs and create a complete WordPress website. Don't delay starting the course. Every day you wait, you're leaving money on the table and losing money because millions of businesses need your skills. Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. The years go by in a blink. After this course, you can create websites that look like this or this or this or this they're quite simple to make you learn all the skills you need in this course and you can start making websites within hours of starting this course Many people earn $500 plus for a starter seven page WordPress website. You can add contact forms like this. I'll teach you how to do this. You can add sidebars like this. I'll teach you how to do that. You can add images and photos like this I'll teach you how to do that you can add a banner ad like this I'll teach you all these skills hi it's Nick Walsh welcome to the course this video will cover how much you can earn doing simple WordPress gigs and the skills I teach you on this WordPress course you'll be able to do exactly like these people are doing so let's have a look at this gig he's done 7574 so he's doing a small WordPress fix for fifteen dollars he's doing a complete website for three hundred and fifty dollars so these are gigs you can do and get paid Basically, if he's doing 7,574, let's have a look how much he's earned. Let's have a look at the calculator. 7,574 times $5 equals $37,870 he's earned. You can do this. The skills I teach you on this course are exactly the same skills, easy skills to learn, that he's doing. Let's have a look at some others. Different ones will do different gigs. Let's have a look at this. 5,907 gigs he's done. There's his reviews. If you have a WordPress blog or site and want to modify it, this gig provider can help. You can do plugin gigs after this course. You can add AdSense, Amazon, Aweber, integrate that, Clickbank. You can put a contact form 7 after this course that I teach you. You can do this, MailChimp. These gigs will be easy. You can do this. 5,907. Let's have a look. 5,907 times $5 equals $29,535. So, if you want to learn and get started, Let's start, and you can do these gigs. 
other gigs you can do complete Word, WordPress sites you can start off doing a five dollar gig for someone and then once they got confidence in you they'll ask you to do a five hundred dollar website start small and you can do gigs like this create a WordPress blog or website he's done 708 $85 he charges for a blog $100 for a WordPress site $125 for a WooCommerce These are different gigs and you can do them all You just have to learn and I teach you everything that you need Hi Nick Walsh, welcome back Here we go A bit of maintenance Let's have a look. Here we see down here if you want to play the videos faster just go here and you can select 1.25, 1.5 or double the speed. It's up to you. The videos will play twice as fast if you're in a hurry or 1.5 or 1.25. Just select here. Volume. Click here. Just set the volume. Here the quality, you can change the quality of the video. Just click here and experiment with whatever quality you want. Here full screen, click if you want to play it full screen. Up here you've got different areas. Any downloads, click here. Start new discussion, click here. To take notes about the course, click here. And just type in what you want here. Hi, it's Nick Walsh. In this video, we're going to install the new WordPress version 4.4 called Clifford. It's the newest version as at 4th of January 2016. I'm here in my Bluehost account. You should have already bought your domain and hosting from Bluehost or GoDaddy or Hostgator whoever you want to use. I use Bluehost, I think they're the best. So you've got your domain, you've got your hosting package and we're going to log in to my account and I'll teach you how to install WordPress version 4.4. Click Submit. Login into the account. And we're going to come down. Install WordPress click here you'll have a similar button if it's GoDaddy you're with or HostGator or anyone else click install WordPress it's installing WordPress for you the latest version we go to here click and it's loading version 4.4 if you've got several domains you need to pick which one you want to install it on WordPress 4.4 I'll install it on Swansea City Plumbers click check domain it's loading for you the WordPress 4.4 version just take a few more seconds last step you're almost there click I have read the terms and conditions install now it's loading just a few more seconds Okay, we're setting up WordPress for you. So that's all done. If you go and do that now, and you'll be well on your way to starting your own WordPress. Hello, this website, builtwith.com, lets you find out what websites are built with. Let's have a look at the BBC. web server, certificates, email services, everything that the BBC website is using is all here. I've been asked about responsive web design. It's an approach to web design aimed at crafting sites to provide an optimal viewing and interaction experience, easy reading and navigation with a minimum of resizing, panning and scrolling across a wide range of devices, desktop computer monitors, mobile phones, etc. 
If you want to use a different responsive theme to the customizer theme in this tutorial, then just enter responsive themes in the search box at wordpress.org and you'll be given 191. In the course I use customizer. It's easy and it's responsive. It's compatible with all browsers and devices, mobile friendly. So it resizes when someone looks at your website in a mobile phone or on an iPad or on a desktop PC. So that is what we are talking about when we mention responsive. It will resize to fit which device you are using so your website looks fine on any device. So to recap, if you want a responsive theme different from the one I teach, Customizer, just enter here and you'll have a list of 190 odd. Technology, built with .com, enter any site and it'll come up and show you everything about that site, what's been used. Customize a theme, it's already on this course and you've downloaded it already and it is responsive. So it resize for mobile, tablets, Welcome back, it's Nick Walsh and we're going to build the website with a theme called Customizer. So first we need to go into the website dashboard area and log in. So we've logged in and now we're in the dashboard area. We need to come down to appearance, click themes. Next, WordPress.org themes. Very important that we go here. Basically, we need to search whilst we're in this section. WordPress approves themes. We don't want to go outside WordPress and get a theme because there's a risk that when we download it, it could be full of malware and bugs. So it's wordpress.org. Search for themes here. Click return. And customizer is what we're looking for. Here we see customizer. Details and preview, five stars, 665. Looks very clean, very nice. Versatile, easy to customize WordPress theme, instantly given a professional look to your online presence. So we're gonna come up, install, So it's installing the theme, customizer, downloading install pack and packing, installing the theme, successfully installed the theme. And let's click activate. Hi and welcome back, Nick Walsh here. This is the email you receive from WordPress to say it's been installed version 4.4. There's the URL. That's the admin URL you'll always use to log into your WordPress site. So you can either click on that or copy and paste it into the address bar here and the password, whichever you've set. So what we'll do now, we'll log in by clicking here into the site. It's just loading and the password will be in here. So I've already copy and pasted the password. Here it is. So we'll log in and in a few seconds, we should be into the site. 
as you can see up here dashboard so welcome to WordPress and this is now all the dashboard area of the site just quick look post media pages comments appearance plugins users tools settings everything else is here so we're into WordPress so that is quite basic and very easy to do so if you can do that now that would be fantastic and you'll be nearer to finishing your first website Welcome back, it's Nick Walsh and here we are in the swansecityplumbers.co.uk website. We're in the dashboard. We're looking at the settings area here. Very important that we have a look at the permalink structure. So click permalinks and we'll be looking later at putting a static home page in. So firstly permalinks, we're here. And as you can see, it's set by default by WordPress as plain. So it would look like this. And any pages would then look P equals one, two, three, and so on, which looks ridiculous. So we don't want that. It would appear here, one, two, three. So we don't want it. We want it to look professional. So click post name post name and then what you'll have is this here and then you'll have about page this will say services page whatever page you make it'll say contact us page so we need to save that and we'll come down to save changes Basically that's gone and we have a post name. Now what we'll do, we'll have a look at another area. So we're going to have a look at general. Click general. In here by default, it'll be blank and here blank. What I've done is previously put in Swansea plumbers. So whatever your site title is about, you can put it in. It's not really, really important, but you can put it in at this time to learn. Tagline, plumbing services in Swansea. That is what this website is all about. So the WordPress address URL will look like this and it'll be up here. And the site address is like that. Email address, put in whatever you want, your own email address. This is for admin purposes only. These time zone, whatever your time zone, just click here and choose whatever time zone you're in. And basically date format. Time format, quick start, site language. Just ignore these for the time being. Save changes, click. So basically you've done that. Now what we're going to do is customize the website. So we have a static home page. We need to do that by customizing the appearance. So we come up to appearance and we click customize. Basically we can customize the global settings, the header, the content, the post, the sidebars, the footer, the menus, the widgets, advanced options. So basically we go in here, content, home posts. What do we want the front page to be? Click here, always the front page will be this. We don't want it to be latest posts. We want it to be a static page. So it always comes up. And we want it to be the front page. So basically, we'll come down here, have a quick look at these, and we'll come back up and save and publish. We're saving a static page. So the front page will always be a static page, and it'll be the front page, 
and it'll be swanseacityplumbers.co.uk. That will be the static page, and that's the front page. Save and publish. Welcome back, it's Nick Walsh, we're in the dashboard, we're going to now have a look at what that home page looks like. That is the static home page, so come up, we're in the dashboard, and here we see visit site, so this area, visit site, click, and we're looking at the beginnings of a professional looking website. Here we have Swansea Plumbers. Here we have plumbing services in Swansea. This will help with the Google search engine optimization. When anyone sort of types in plumbing services in Swansea, there's a good chance this site will come up in the top 10 once all the work's been done on it. Here we have messages, display main menu, second menu here, horizontally, manage menus in header now. So we'll dismiss these notices and clean up this site a bit. Then we'll have a little look at this. Remember, dismiss notice, default page, you don't have any pages in your website. This side, menu is empty for the moment. So dismiss that. And basically what we have here is no widgets. So we'll dismiss that and just clean up the site. So you can see that it looks a bit better here. And we just got a home, nothing, no content at the moment. So basically what we'll do now, we'll go back to the dashboard. And we'll have a look at the other areas of the dashboard. And we'll customize it. So what we need to do is come down, Appearance, Customize, click. Basically, that's what your site looks like at the moment. Content and Home Posts, click. Pages and Posts Layout. So we want a sidebar. Do we want a left sidebar or a right sidebar? Two sidebars, left and right. Let's go for a right side sidebar. Click. So what will happen when we get content in this area, the right sidebar, we'll have content here. Post layout. We haven't got any posts at the moment, so we'll ignore that for now. If you want a blog, we'll cover that later. Pages default layout, you've got a selection here. We'll just leave it as it is at the moment. So basically, the right sidebar, we've told Customizer that we want a right sidebar here. Up to Save and Publish. Save and Publish. So that's been saved. Come here and back. So what we need to do is go back to the dashboard. Click here. We're in the dashboard. Hi, welcome back. It's Nick Walsh. Here we are. We have seven pages. If at any time these disappear from your screen whilst you're working, just click this little button here, collapse menu, bring it back, and you'll have all of these showing. So we've got our pages. We're now going to add these to a menu. We're going to name the menu up here, Main. We're going to save the menu. Now we're going to add these to the menu. Select all, so selected all, 
add menu click it's working here we go these are all added to the menu basically that would appear on a horizontal menu the first on the left then that then that then that then that then that will be number seven so that will be on the far right we don't want that we want that so we drag it by clicking on it holding down the mouse and putting it at the top then we'll have a boat page drag it by clicking it and holding the mouse releasing the mouse and we'll put it up here gets a little bit fiddly but easily done drag it a little bit there okay looks better home page about contact us is the last blog maybe i'll bring down to here just drag it down leave it there so we want that save menu so that's looking better now what we need to do this is the menu we need now to go to another area customize click now we go in to look not at menus but because the menu is appearing in the header which will be this area here we want to look at header so click header and here we'll see navigation menus click navigation menus we see that this theme supports two menus we need to come down here the main menu select main in this box the main menu design selected design site menu vertical or regular horizontal look at the options we don't want the side menu we want a regular horizontal have a look here about more mobile devices we'll ignore this for the time being and the rest we don't need it at the moment so we go into click save and publish main menu main regular horizontal and the menu should appear here save and publish okay that's saved now we're going back click here and we go in to have a look at the site visit site here we see the menu home about plumbing tips service area service blog contact us. hi welcome back it's nick walsh here we are at the home page of swansea plumbers what we want to do now is add some content basically what we're going to do is go into the dashboard click here come down here pages all pages so we're going to have a look at home edit at the moment there's nothing in there basically you can either write the content yourself or i go to fiverr and have things like um, write an article 400 words i've downloaded this i've copied it and now I'm going to paste it in. So we've got the first bits of information. Looks a bit boring because there's no pictures in there. But basically that's the start. Add media. So we'll put a photo of a plumber here click add media what comes up is you can upload a file from anywhere you want such as google images you must make sure that 
permission has been given and that you aren't infringing copyright. Media library. Here we have a plumber. Click. Alt text, very good for search engine optimization. So what's this photo about? Let's say Swansea plumber. That'll help you rank on page one for the search term, Swansea plumber. That's the most important box, alt text. That's the key word that someone looking for a plumber in a certain area will have in the search box of Google. So that's very important. Alt text, very, very important. Don't let your website be hidden away. Make sure you optimize it. Insert in, into page. Here we are. Now what you can do, you can click on it. So I've clicked on it with the mouse and it allows you to have a line right. So it's over there. Or click here to align center. Or click here to align left. Basically, you can edit it. You can have full size. You can have thumbnail. Whatever you want. We'll leave it at full size. The alternative text is in there. Come down here. Update. So that's gone in there. Still looks a bit boring. So what we'll do, we'll insert an image in here. That could be whatever you want. Add a media. Could be something from the media library, nothing appropriate. So we'll upload files. So basically, you go to Google and you download an image and your files would appear in here. We'll look at that in the next video. Hello, it's Nick Walsh. Welcome back. We're in Google Images. That's Google Images. So in the search box, just type in Google Images and you'll be taken to this page. Google Images. We're looking for plumber photos to put on our website. Click. Here we are. What's important is that we go to Search Tools. Click and usage rights. We do not want to infringe any copyright. So we've got to use this label. Labeled for reuse. Click here. Nothing else because we aren't allowed to use those images. Only labeled for reuse. Click. And here we are. These folders we can use. Free. And we'll choose this one. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll use that one. So right click and save image as click. And we'll name it plumber image one. Save. Okay, that's saved. So we'll go back here to edit page. What we're doing now is looking for that plumber photo one. So we are in insert media. Just a quick recap to get there. We are on this page, home page. We've added that. Now we want to add one more photo here. Click here and click add media. So we go into select files. What we're going to do now is look for that download. Go here. You're in your hard drive now. Plumber. Image. One. And it's found it for us here. 
So we just click that with our mouse and then we come down here and open. There's the photo, it's been opened in the media library. Alt text, we can put in whatever you want as a search engine optimization. Keyword, Swansea. Plumbing. Helps greatly with getting your page seen and onto the first page of Google for that search term when anyone clicks in the Google box. Insert into page. There you are, it's inserted into page. Again, you can right click it, have a good look. A line left, a line right. No alignment. We'll have a look left. There you are, we'll keep it on the left and we'll keep it that size. So basically we've added that photo there. Don't forget to update. Let's have a look. It's in live. Visit the site. Home page. We'll just dismiss some of these notices. They are quite helpful, but we'll dismiss them at this time. So we've got that image there, that image there. So it's starting to take shape. Hello, it's Nick Walsh. We're looking at the Contact Us page. So we're on Pages, All Pages, click. And we're going to have a look at Contact Us. So we're going to view, click view. The page is empty. What we want above the fold. So this is the fold above here. We want to capture people's email addresses. So we're going to put contact form seven in so that we can email them and send them newsletters, sell them products, email them. Very, very important that we have a list you have to start to build a list it's very simple to do so what we'll do now back to the dashboard we're going down plugins we're going to add a new plugin click add new in this section here search plugins we're going to put in contact form sim and hit return here it is contact form sim one million active installs four and a half stars eight hundred and six reviews install now click here basically what's happening now it's installing Active plugin successfully installed. So activate plugin. Click. Basically, what's happening here now is that the plugin is activated. We look at it here. The settings, we click. This is the short code. So we have to copy this. Copy. And then we are going to go to pages. All pages. Click. Come down to contact us. Edit. Click basically in this page click paste and that is the short code pasted come down to update 
basically the contact us page now will have a form on it so we're going to visit the site click come across here contact us page click there you go your name your email subject your message so what you have here is a great way to build a mailing list you can use MailChimp it's free and then you can send offers whatever you're selling products services to those that have filled in these details hello welcome back it's Nick Walsh in this video we are going to upload your logo so you can have a look at Google and type in free logo software to make it yourself or get someone to make the logo for you for five dollars basically we need to go to appearance and customize so we're in the dashboard and we click customize basically we're here and we're looking at global settings click then we go down to logo and then your file needs to be JPEG or one of these so when you have it made make sure it's one of these formats click upload so we're going to upload it to your website mine is here already made MX plumbers so we're in the hard drive of my computer and this has been downloaded as a JPEG file click and highlight and open basically that now is downloading and there it appears on the website and that cost me five dollars there we are we're going to have a look now and save and publish see what the site looks like so we're going back and let's have a look come to here visit site and there we have a smart logo just here and it's on all the pages Hi, it's Nick Walsh here, and here we're doing keyword research. Very important. It will either make your particular project that you're working on succeed or fail. So it's very, very important that you do keyword research. You can't compete with the big boys and the big girls who have domains five, seven, ten years old and thousands of backlinks to their site total waste of time and money i've wasted hundreds of hours in various projects i had a david beckham victoria beckham website i chose the wrong keywords i thought i could compete with the big people and then i was going to put um, various affiliate links under that david beckham victoria beckham site didn't work so here i'll show you what keyword research is and the tools available some free some paid houses bought for cash so that's a keyword that i want to look at here we are now this is market samurai quickly look at houses bought for cash and the top 10 sites in the united kingdom that appear in Google and all of this will go through later on coming back this is Google AdWords you go to Google AdWords here and you go to tools click tools and then you come into keyword planner and in here 
you can put in houses bought for cash. How many people in the United Kingdom are searching and putting into the Google box houses bought for cash? On average, 90 per month. So it's okay. Houses bought for cash. So if you want to try and compete for this keyword, personally, I wouldn't. But as an experiment, I've done it here at my website. Houses bought for cash. I've put in the H1 tags to help with the SEO. Put it in again. Houses bought for cash at this particular page. And again. Basically, in Analytics, Google Analytics, we'll go to analytics.com. Here it is. Houses bought for cash is the key phrase or keyword we're trying to rank for. Since 8th of November 2015 up till December 7th 2015 How many times have visitors come to my site after putting in houses bought for cash and landing on this page? Have a guess. We'll have a look by coming down to behavior Clicking on all pages. So we're looking for houses bought for cash. Not here. Not here. Not here. Click here. Not here. Not here. Not here. We haven't had one visitor visiting in that 30 day period because it's simply too competitive to try and get in the first 10 results for that search term. Basically, you can get for free an add-on, it's a Firefox add-on, so you need to download Firefox, which looks like this, for free, a web browser. Then, in the search bar here, you would type in Firefox add-on, and you'd look for SEO Quake. That would be SEO Quake. So we type in here it is add ons here and it's free. Click here. You would then add that to Firefox by clicking here and that would download. Click install. I've already installed it. Brilliant. We'll go to the back button, click, click. And here, how is this bought for cash? Put that in. Click. Search. This is all here. SEO Quick. Basically, these top three results for that search term. These are paid for ads. People that own these sites are paying Google. Maybe as much as £20. Looking at the stats earlier, per click. These, number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are all 
free. These are the organic non paid for search results. Number 10 position will have a lot less clicks than number 9. And number 9 will have a lot less than number 8. And so on. 7 will have less than 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. This one in the organic non paid for Google search results will have a lot more clicks than number 2 position. Basically, we'll just refresh that because an error message has come and see if that will get rid of that. Great. Okay, so number one, SEO Quick says the Google page rank is two. The Google has indexed 374 pages at this site. We're talking about links and we're talking about how many pages indexed by Bing 8415. The domain name was bought December 25th 2003 by whoever owns this company and it's Google is the page source Google I've given us all this information and all of the explanations about this free SEO quick is all here. Now we're going to look at this site. My site, it isn't ranking anywhere. I've done this as an experiment. It's very, very, very difficult to get in the top 10 for the search term in the United Kingdom, houses bought for cash. So when you see PR2 2007, that's about eight year old site. Your brand new site, if you were interested in setting up a company to buy houses in the United Kingdom, you've got no chance of ranking for this search term on the first page so you won't get any visitors total waste of time so the project for that for me has failed houses bought for cash no visitors whatsoever Now we look at Market Samurai. Basically, it's free for a certain amount of time as at this date. And it's really, really good. I've used it for years and it's fantastic. Basically, keyword houses bought for cash. I've put that in and it'll come up Google or should I say market samurai with domain age and various other factors. What I like about it, it shows green. This is what you want to aim for. You can compete with sites and try and get your own website to compete with this. You see it's all green, all green. So you stand a good chance of getting position 5 if that's 0 if you can get Google to get you a better page rank than 0 the citation flow so basically you want to go to Yelp and all these online directories and submit your site to those Yelp, Yelp, lots of others TF is the trust flow, the measure of a web page's authority, trustworthiness, and also what's important, the backlinks. 
the total number of external links pointing to any page on that domain, including deeply nested pages. Is it in DMOS? No, it's quite difficult to get into DMOS now, but keep trying. It is in the keyword is in the title for that particular site. But when it's all green, you stand a good chance of getting, if you do hard work, and get the backlinks. Is it in the URL? No, it's not. N for no. So houses bought for cash is not in the URL. If you had a website trying to compete with this, you could put houses bought for cash. You might be able to buy one, dot net, dot org, dot London, whatever. Is it in the description? Does the word houses bought for cash appear in the description tag? No, it does not. Is it in the header tag? Yes, it is. Basically, success or failure of any projects will depend on your SEO and your competition analysis. And this market samurai is excellent. Of course, if you can't afford it, I think it's about $99 then you can use for free SEO Quick and it'll give you all the information, it'll take you longer to do the research. So basically we're looking houses bought for cash. We don't want that. It's too competitive. Too competitive. Look at all the reds. This domain age is 12 year old, you won't compete with that. That one's 9 year old. This one is 11 year old. The domain age, they bought the domain 11 years ago. If yours is brand new, you've got no chance of competing. The more red it is, the less chance you have of competing. So you've got to find less competitive keywords. So we'll do that now. So basically, houses bought for cash doesn't appear anywhere in my Google Analytics for that site. It's never been visited once. So the hours I spent setting up that particular page, total waste of my time. Others have had views and visits, other web pages. Google Keyword Planner. So we go into have a look for ideas. Something similar to this, but not as competitive and with a decent amount of average monthly searches. So how do we do that? Google or languages come across whatever country you want to search for, whether it's United Kingdom, America, wherever you want, just put in United States. Okay, so we'll search United States and United Kingdom. Save. So now we'll have a look to see what we can get that's a lot easier to rank for. So your website, your new website, will get a lot more traffic. Basically we're looking at
get search volume. 